what is up guys how's everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below let's get right into this let's see what's going on for the collective at this time spirit ancestors and guides I'm out there reading for okay if somebody's been in some kind of financial difficulty having a problem with money okay there is about to be a windfall of abundance for somebody okay it says inheritance or money owed to you is coming so this could be something that you have been waiting on if it's a, some, some kind of settlement some kind of inheritance um something that somebody owes you just whatever this is it's definitely coming in this is something that you have been waiting on okay with this windfall card here this is something you've been waiting on or you've been expecting now this could also be something unexpectedly happening you know maybe you get a hair up your ass and, and go to the casino and put 20 bucks in and bam spin it three times and you hit you hit some kind of jackpot you know whatever this is there's definitely something coming financially that is uh about to take a lot of stress off of you okay now There's also this energy of somebody who was an adventure seeker almost. Somebody isn't sure what they truly wanted out of life, okay? Somebody was not sure what they really wanted out of life. Like, do I want this? Do I want this? Like, what, what is the true meaning of life? What do I want here? And at the end of the day, somebody was comparing their options, okay? there's an energy of somebody that was just com comparing their options and this wasn't like the type of situation where they're trying to have their cake and eat it too this is the type of situation where somebody was truly soul searching and trying to figure out what it is that they're looking for what's going to truly make them happy and that's why they were outweighing their options here this person has an uh a smug i don't know how to how to how to explain it maybe condescending okay because with this card it says thinks what others are doing is beneath them and they are better so this person could look down upon people this person could think that they're better than other people okay and this is kind of a turn off for some people like people don't like that energy that always thinks that they know everything always sm the smartest person in the room always the most good looking person in the room you know but there's also an energy of them dealing with people who like were good looking on the outside but on the inside they weren't worth a damn Mo they were focused on looks See, but whoever you were dealing with, they went deep inside themselves, okay? Somebody has gone really, really deep inside themselves because they had a lot of childhood issues. A lot of Ooh, confirmation from spirit. Whoever this person is, they had a lot of childhood issues. They've had a lot of childhood trauma. And they thought that they had resolved this trauma or this is something that they might have swept under the rug. But at the end of the day, this person didn't. They did not fix these childhood issues. They did not fix this trauma that they went through. For a long time, they thought they had healed these parts of themselves or that they were they were good. Okay, they blew that shit off. Um, but something has got, has something about this person like outweighing their options and truly seeking what they want out of life and from a genuine place. Because whoever this is, it's like 
they're trying to figure out what will make them happy but it's coming from a genuine place of self and i really can't be mad at this person like if y'all are dealing with them y'all can be mad at them but i can't be mad at this person because if it came down to you okay if you had not saying options but say you had you, different types of people different paths that you completely different paths you could take if you just make a decision to go this way this way or this way you've gone through a lot in your life because whoever this person is they've gone through hell and back and now you're at a point say if you were in their shoes now you're at a point where you genuinely want to be happy you genuinely went to, through bullshit you've probably hurt people along the way in your process trying to get where you're at but now you've awakened to a point where I need to figure out what truly makes me happy I can't be mad at this person because they're thinking about life from a genuine place what what would I really want here what will truly make me happy here and so that's why they're outweighing these these options but they've come to a point where they've healed that inner child okay so whoever this is they've definitely done a lot of healing on that inner child on that damaged person okay because this person was very damaged for a very very long time and it's taken them a long time to get to this point okay from to to, to come from a very authentic place and to actually love themselves enough to not make the wrong choices to um go down the wrong path okay so this person don't want to just spring in and make a decision and then bam they're stuck in like a toxic cycle bam they're back to trauma going through some kind of trauma some kind of bullshit no this person really is outweighing their options in a way that they want forever whatever this person chooses they are choosing forever right they're choosing what's going to make them happy regardless okay they had energies around them that were hella pretty okay super fine hella pretty um but these are like people that might have been younger than them okay ain't really been through a lot of shit in life uh this card says sugar baby so pretty and young their rent is paid for okay so you know um the younger generation is a bit different okay because have they have no problem like dealing with somebody for money okay but there is this this energy where there is somebody who has like maybe younger pretty energies around them you know free just people around them that used to really turn this person on and really attract this person aren't so attractive to this person anymore so these people that they had around them that they thought were like, oh, it's fun to party with these people. It's fun. They look good. It's good to be seen. Like these type of energies aren't even attractive to this person anymore. And so this is a part of their soul searching. This is a part of their deep thinking. Okay. Because now they're in this energy where they're uninterested and repulsed by these types of energies. See, these energies used to really turn them on, used to really attract them. Them Jezebel spirits used to used to really attract this person, but now they don't. Now they sit back, they could go out, like say their friend is like, hey, I got somebody I could put you on, or hey, come out with me, I'm going to introduce you. And normally, they'll go out and have a great time, and, and you know, but now like they could be just sitting there and just looking at these energies like, ooh, like. This, these energies ain't even attractive to me anymore i'm not even having a good time anymore like there's something about this person going through some kind of spiritual awakening that things that they used to love and things that they did before is not it's like they jump timelines it's like whoever you're dealing with and you could be like nah this person is a piece of shit they do this and this they're a player they're this that but it's almost like an energy and I gotta read it how it comes out now if this ain't for you it's not for you okay but if it's resonating it's for you um it's like this person has jumped timelines okay it's like they have literally came to a point where they've spiritually awakened they've done some dark night of the soul they have healed parts of themselves and now they're it's like they've jumped timelines like they're not the same person 
that you knew or you know or you know they could if you're like just meeting them this person like is coming off exactly how they say there's this energy where they're just not they they're not who they used to be things that used to make them happy don't make them happy the same anymore things they used to like that they used to like to do don't fulfill them anymore they're feeling a sense of lack and so they're wondering where do I put my energy at where should I where should I focus my energy at here taking all these that fell but you there's definitely two queens here queen of pentacles queen of swords and the high priestess if they are dealing with two people if they're dealing with you and somebody else or they're dealing with multiple people there is this energy of not being able to keep it a secret very long okay so if you are actively dealing with this person and they're dealing with somebody else they, they're definitely worried that the secret's gonna come out or that you're very intuitive and, and, and you're gonna find out there's also this energy of somebody who has been through a lot so they're not willing to take bullshit off of this person like I feel like if that's you like you you also have been through a lot you've also gone through some pain some trauma I feel like there's definitely somebody here too because it's almost like with you getting on your shit and this windfall of abundance that's coming for you it's gonna put you and this person in a position to really be happy together like stress free and happy yeah this person is just not fulfilled they're just not fulfilled at all <laughs> I'm not going to take those, though. Even though I read them. I'm not going to take those. Let's see what we got. We got the Three of Cups. And we got the Nine of Swords. Okay. This is somebody that sits up at night. And they think about what it would be like to be married to you. They think about what it would like to come together with you. They definitely feel like it, it, it's something that would make them very happy because the Three of Cups is also a card of celebration, okay? This is a celebration, a party, happiness, marriage, graduation, it's, you know, birthday, shit like that, okay? They might be hoping to run into you at a party or see you somewhere out and about, all right? Um... They could also be remembering a time that you guys went out together. Like if y'all did something as a family or went to do something together, they could be also thinking about this. Um, but I think there's more of an energy with this nine of swords stressed up at night, overthinking. Because this person is in this energy of overthinking right now because they're trying to figure out like what would be best for them and they don't wanna fuck up and make the wrong decision. But at night when they lay down, they're thinking about what it would be like to be with you, to, to marry you, to come together with you. They're picturing it. It's almost like they're, they're picturing marrying you in their head. What else, Spirit? What else is going on with the collective person, Spirit? have the seven of cups so that's definitely an energy of options okay so this person does have options you know they really could go any way that they really choose like not even trying to be funny i don't know what it is about this person we got the king of wands card 
Um, but he came out in reverse. So this is somebody who's definitely a cheater energy, definitely like a male chauvinist. For a long time, this person was like a male chauvinist pig almost is what I'm saying. The King of Wands in reverse, that's somebody who is just, ew, you know, they love attention. They love attention off of multiple people. They don't care about anybody's feelings. Um, they cheat in every relationship that they're in. You know, this person was not that great of a person, you know. But we've all been karmic to somebody. We've all went through some things. You can't judge somebody on the journey that they had to take in order to get them where they needed to, to be spiritually. And I feel like whatever journey this person has taken, it's taught them a lot of lessons spiritually, okay? Um, yeah, so this person does have a lot of options. For a long time, they would go for what they thought would fulfill them financially, fulfill them like long, like help them gain. Even if they have their own money, even if they are doing good for themselves, this is somebody who would deal with their options, you know, especially if they saw some kind of financial gain out of that option. Almost like most of their relationships were business partnerships type shit. Like it's, it's, it's not necessarily a relationship. It's more like a business partnership to this person. Like if you can't help them gain or get further in life then then you don't need them but they were they were thinking from a very very shallow perspective and a very very low vibrational uh perspective and they realize that now yeah with the two of two of pentacles they definitely realize that this person could be waiting on some kind of test result specifically with that two of pentacles yeah, if they're tired of giving to dead end, dead end situations with that Six of Pentacles coming out in reverse. Um, it's like they're definitely, they're just tired. And this is more energetically than financially, even though it's the Six of Pentacles. It's like this person is just tired of putting in effort to dead end situations. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Um... This person had a lot of unfinished business, okay, in the past. There was probably a lot of people or that they dealt with where there was no closure or where they held on to something that had happened, specifically, definitely with two people. Like, they dealt with, and this could have been at separate times, but there was something that either hurt this person or this person held on to from those relationships, okay? But those doors are closed it's like if they're not closing they're in the process of closing these doors um because when it comes to that unfinished business you know it's in reverse and with the six of pentacles it's in reverse so they're tired of giving to to, to those dead end situations like i said and with that unfinished business being in reverse the this business is finished and what's so crazy is i said most of their relationships was like a business partnership and so now it's like they're done. Those businesses, those opportunities are, are done. They're not going to put effort to situations that aren't fulfilling them mentally and spiritually. Because in the past, they were low vibrational. As long as their physical needs were met, they were good. But now they're in this energy of spiritually awakening to where they need their mental and spiritual needs met. king of cups could be a water sign but that's not for everybody but this is somebody whose emotions are finally stable um this is somebody that definitely thinks with their heart okay this is this is somebody that isn't thinking with their head they're thinking with their heart and they know how to give and show love okay can i get a message for the collective when it comes to this person's spirit can I get a message for the collective when it comes to this person, spirit, ancestors, and guides? Can I get a message for the collective when it comes to this person, spirit? Time. 
you are trying too hard give it time okay so if you're putting in a lot of effort if you're really trying to uh be there for this person show this person like if you're that bitch you're that dude like stop you know just chill when they feel your energy they're losing your energy they're gonna get right okay don't try you can't you can't force nothing you can't try to make nothing what it's not and you can't skip chapters in somebody else's journey like this is their journey and they have to go through these chapters in order to get to that to that not you know to that climax type shit can I get one more message for the collective when it comes to this? Oh, shit. There's a lot of them. We're not taking all of them. I'm going to take the one that flipped, okay? Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances, circumstances you find yourself currently in. So spirit is saying, close your eyes and tell yourself you deserve to feel happy. You can allow happiness into your life regardless of what the fuck you're going through, whatever you're in. And I feel like this is also has a lot to do with who you're dealing with because this is somebody who has been kind of miserable and unhappy and carried that role for a long time um, with themselves more like, you know, so they they're stopping to smell the roses type shit and to say like, I deserve happiness and I can allow happiness into my life. You know, like sometimes they might feel down if they're they're not in the best place financially. Sometimes they might feel less than if they done lost their job, if their car broke down. Like this person has a way of really being hard on themselves in trying times. But spirit is saying, like, it don't matter where you are in life, like, or what the fuck happens, like whatever circumstances you're in you can still find that happiness and get in a high vibration and then the spirit the spirit and the universe start sending you high vibrational people sending you high vibrational rewards right if you're focusing on negative bullshit guess what the universe is going to bring to you some negative as bullshit you always got to find that high vibration okay all right that's what i have for you guys if that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.